Okay, welcome to the second part of our key tag, bag tag tutorial for year six orientation day. Um, what we're going to try to do now is we're going to insert a St. Columba Anglican School logo into your bag tag. So the first thing we need to do is locate the St. Columba Anglican School logo. So if you go to your finder window now um, and in that shared storage folder under students in technology faculty 2021 under laser cutter templates I have placed the St. Columba logo and you can open that up and you'll see it's just opened a secondary tab next to our first tab. Clicking on that logo I want you to hit command C which will copy the logo and then coming back into your bag tag logo we're going to hit command V which places the logo in. Now because this is a logo that was taken from the internet, we don't know and Adobe doesn't recognize the colors or anything of that logo. So the first thing we need to do is come up here to image trace. And I'm just gonna hit the little arrow next to image trace and I'm just going to click on shades of gray. And you can see there that's done an image trace and it's changed it all to uh, different shades of grey, which is fantastic because the laser cutter will recognise those shades of grey. Now we need to vectorize the logo so that we can remove the background and things from it. So to do that, we're just going to click on expand. And you can see it's to put all these little blue lines around each individual letter of our logo. Clicking off our logo, you can see it's still got that white background and what we want to do is remove that white background. So I'm going to come up here to the direct selection tool and I'm going to select the background and press delete. And that's going to remove it. It's going to remove it all except for these little ones inside the circles. And if we click on them individually, oh, actually we won't even worry about that. The laser cutter will, won't recognize that and that'll be fine. So we'll just leave that like that. Coming back to the black arrow now, I'm going to click on my image, which selects the whole image, and then I'm going to rescale it. And if I hold shift down while I do this rescaling, I can get it, uh, it will rescale, uh, resize the image to scale. And then what I can do is I can drag it and put it on my key tag. Hitting Command Plus, I can zoom in, and I'm just going to downsize that to a size that I'm happy to have on my logo. On my bag tag, I should say. So I'm gonna put that there, and then I'm just going to rescale my name a little bit. Which doesn't rescale it. I'll need to just change the font, so I'm gonna select it all. Come up here to Character, make my font size. 22, so my name's bigger, and there we have our bag tag. If you've still got time permitting in the lesson, you could do a bit of playing with that bag tag and um, maybe put your logo somewhere different. I'm just going to actually uh, change the positioning of the circle and the logo to make it a bit more aesthetic. And then maybe you might want to put um, something else in there that interests you, like an image of a picture or something off the internet, following the same steps that you did to import your name. The last step I'll need to do to make sure the laser cutter can cut my image out is change my stroke weight to 0 0.01. Oh, I get the feeling that one's not 0 0.01. And that's how we're going to make a bag tag using Adobe Illustrator and the laser cutter that can go on your bag for year seven, 2022. Thanks for tuning in.